here putting our lives on the line, protecting our family, and y'all up here trying to kill us, smiling and laughing like, like it's nothing. Like this shit is not funny. It's all my life. 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 He can't say it. Can you say that? Black lives matter. 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 Black lives you got a son and you got a daughter, and they're the same color as I am. And you want to sit there with that and fucking smug ass face. And you're laughing. You're fucking That's why you wear these white hats. Look at you, you're laughing. All y'all doing is the car. And you're laughing. It's funny. It's funny. About a month in yeah, Ferguson yeah, supporting folks on the street. Him in the Living him with the people, him being on the ground. Oh, one mic, one mic, one mic. One mic, one mic, one mic. One mic, one mic. One mic, one mic. Yo. Hey. So I just want to start, because there we started different every time, and it had a different life to it. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. And I need you to repeat after me. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Look at other people when you say it this time. Look around at each of us. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. This whole thing I have been watching through the, the eyes of my friends on the ground in Ferguson. And they are strong fucking people. That's why I'm not there right now, honestly. Because they're like, we got it. We got it. Go do Philly. Go organize in Philly. Make it happen in Philly. We need it to happen in Philly. We need to happen in all over this country. And that's what I see happening tonight. I take pictures of what's happening, send them over there like, thanks for giving us hope. Thanks for showing up day after day after day. Thanks for being dedicated. We need to do our part. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of looking over my shoulder. I'm tired of feeling guilty as if I did some kind of crime. I didn't do any fucking crime. Mike Brown didn't do any fucking crime, did he? No. <laughs> No, but he was assumed guilty and shot dead in the ground. <laughs> so now, my, my part is to keep going, because I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting for them to fix it for me. I'm done waiting. And I know there are powerful fucking people out here. And that's why I came out, to be here with powerful people. So thank you for showing up. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We have, uh, we must love and protect one another. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. No justice. No peace. There is a narrative today in America, an old narrative being pressed through mostly conservative media, but tag along in the liberal media. 
is the bringing up of the subject of black on black crime whenever state on citizen cop on black or cop on any citizen crime is brought up there is, that is not an excuse black on black crime black uh i was looking up stats on the department of justice before i came out today Something like uh, 91 percent of all blacks killed are killed by blacks. Something like 83 percent of all whites killed by wh uh, all whites killed are killed by whites. You kill where you live, and you mostly live amongst your own. No, no matter if you live in rural Pennsylvania or Philadelphia, this is a very segregated city. Now, there are many, many, many problems going on with that, of course. But black on black crime is not should never again be the go-to argument. When a cop kills, especially an unarmed, an unarmed young black person or anyone, that is pure racism. Racially, economically, socially, financially, the whole system, the whole American way is fucked up. Not completely. We all love being American, don't we? But there's something poisonous inside of this mill, isn't it? Inside, there's something inside of this. We gotta turn, we can't keep turning the other cheek. I'm not saying it get violent. But people like this gay right look up to this guy. I see him as a big brother in the culture of the city here. There are many options we can go to. I choose arts and culture to push the things that young people do to show the world that we're not just a bunch of violent thugs. The new word for nigger if you haven't noticed yet. The easy words to slide into the news. Other people choose different ways of, of, of voting reform and, and getting people out to rock the vote and to, and to infiltrate the government by getting people who we trust and know in, especially at the local level. There are many ways to fight this fight, but every single way is a viable way. Every single way is a viable way, especially if we're looking to stave off violence and actually make a change. Many people are talking about violent solutions. We all have friends, family, you're at the barbershop, at the market, on the train. People are talking about violence. That's not what's going to solve it. That's not the first option. The first option is getting to know your neighbor. It's getting organized. The first option is, did you tell that they can't young boys and get blocked to calm down and stop fighting? Now, I know that's not going to solve the problem of police killing us. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's going to be something to do with voting. That's going to be intimidation, like they intimidate us. But there are many options. Any option you think is an option is an option. If you really believe in it, even if you disagree with anything I might say or he might say or anyone might say, if you really believe in it, organize around it. Push it. There are many organizers out here. A rainbow coalition, as Jesse Jackson would say, of all different kinds of people out here. Different races, ages, social classes, liberals, squares, circles, whatever you want to, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. You have somebody out here. Raise your hand if you are a leader or an officer in an organization of any type in Philadelphia that goes towards social progress of any kind. Creative, artistic, political. Raise your hand if you are an active member in an organization that is pushing forward socially, politically, artistically. Look around. Maybe take a picture. Ask a name. Look at a person you do not know for a second. Turn to someone you do not know in this crowd. Are you all turned? Hello. Are you all turned? <laughs> Ask that person's name before you go. You have no idea who you're standing next to. I came out last night for the original protest. I met literally 120 something people I did not know who are all organizing in different ways. I met, uh, my name is Paul, by the way. Everybody calls me Frosty. There's a guy named Paul I met last night. I saw, I saw, I saw looking his shit up. He does a lot of things. They didn't know, they didn't know he existed through yesterday. You don't know. We're not going to uh, uh, just just become a, uh, um, an organized uh, military and like fight the police. That's not going to happen. Although you know that's the common social narrative of the misunderstood word, word revolutionary. Revolve 360 degrees of constant change in motion towards what? Towards what? Well, we all agree. Progression and change. Progressive change, right? So if you have an option, explore it today. This is your team. If you really believe and you're out here because you really believe, and as the young lady said, not just for a, a, a photo op or whatever else, you have your team here. We're out here. Talk to us. I'm floating to the crowd. If you can't see me, I'm wearing a, a golden jacket and a, and a black scully. Talk to me. This, I, I'm a connector kind of person. If I can't help you, I know someone who can. Trust me. And there's many other folks out here. You got vision from PYPM and, and the semicircle over there facing off with the youth against the police. Just, just want to be seen. I mean, the, the youth just want to be seen. They got their hands up saying, look at it, look at us. And the cops are kind of looking past them. Fuck them. So, um, basically, <laughs> pardon, 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 pardon. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, basically, you have many options. Many options. Ask. Google. Do what you got to do. This, this, is a, this is a really, really active city. Actionism, activism. This city is the shit when it comes to that. We're out here now. We can make this ten times bigger. Not just the protest, but the, the reason why we're here and what we can and the actual um the what to do's basically, you know? So 
find somebody who has an option if you don't have one or tell someone your option if you think you have one. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. If you give a fuck, you give a fuck. So, no justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. And FCP stands for what now? How y'all feeling, y'all? How y'all feeling, y'all? How y'all feeling, y'all? Where them drums at? Beat them drums. Beat them drums, man. Where them drums at? Beat them drums, man. Beat those drums. I want some drums real quick. Who got the drums? Who got the drums? Yeah, make some noise, man. I want to give a quick report. I love being here today because as one of the older individuals in the crowd, I'm following all of you, your people here tonight. It feels good to follow such beautiful leadership of our youth today. Yes. Yes. Oftentimes we say that our young people are apathetic. We say that they don't care about anything. They care. We say that they are not serious. But guess what? As one of the older ones here today, I can humbly say that y'all look beautiful here tonight. Y'all look beautiful. Y'all energized. Y'all fired up. And y'all can take it no more. Is that right? Y'all yeah. fired up. And I can take it no more. Is that right? Y'all fired up. And what? Y'all fired up. Y'all fired up. Y'all fired up. your goal right now is to get our two dear brothers out tonight. Is that right? Yeah. I believe their names are Naveed and Felix. Everybody say Naveed, Naveed. and Felix. Felix. Naveed, Naveed and Felix. Felix. Naveed, Naveed and Felix. Felix. Naveed, Naveed and Felix. Felix. Naveed and Felix, David and Felix, David and Felix. We're not going anywhere until we're not going anywhere until. So the reality is, all these officers are hearing us say that we're not going anywhere until our brothers are released. That's right. We're not going to leave the street. We're not going to leave this space. We heard that their actually is about to be released soon. We were told about, what, two hours ago that they were on their way out. But where are they is the question. Where are they is the question. Where are they is the question. What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? So where are we going? 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 This is our comrades, y'all. Huh? Huh? This is our brothers and sisters, right? In this case, our brother. Brothers. So we gotta stay strong, stay firm. We're not going anywhere. And we're confident that they're going to come out. All right? All right? Just so you know, we're burning a little sage because we have to bring a certain spiritual element to the space, too. Is that good? We're going to bring a certain spiritual element into the space. S A G E, sage. We're going to get our minds right, but more importantly, our spirits right. All right? This this right here, and then I'm over there, and then I got your mama. Come on up. Hello. All right. What's going on, y'all? Um, I'm 20 years old. I go to the University of Pennsylvania. I'm 20 years old. I go to the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm black. And uh, 
I just want to stress and make sure that people don't go home. Just listen to what I say before. Like, really listen to this. I want to make sure that you guys aren't going home thinking that all cops are bad. It's not true. Listen, there are good cops. Not one of them However, here, so y'all are all bad to the cops. No, 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 I just told you why. Listen, 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 list